In this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your Ethereum transactions and reduce your costs using Optimism. And for those of you that know nothing about Optimism, I'll provide you with a brief overview before I jump into the walkthrough, where I'm going to show you how you can bridge your tokens from Ethereum across to Optimism, and then how you can use Uniswap. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk, and I'll also put a timeline in the summary below for those of you that just want to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. Optimism is a layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum that supports Ethereum dApps. The optimistic Ethereum network lets you send transactions similar to Ethereum, but with two main advantages, which are fast transaction speeds and lower transaction costs. And it does all of this by running all transaction data on-chain and runs computation off-chain, which then increases Ethereum's transactions per second and it decreases the fees. This will hopefully help those of you that are put off using the likes of Synthetix, 1inch or Uniswap on Ethereum due to the ridiculously high fees. So let's jump in and take a look, and we'll need to head over to Optimism.io. To get started, you'll need to deposit your Ethereum-based tokens from Ethereum mainnet across to Optimistic Ethereum, and you can do that using a bridge. If you don't already have an Ethereum to get started with, you can purchase that on the likes of Binance, FTX or Huobi, all of which I've got promotional links in the summary below that will help to reduce your trading fees. To bridge your tokens, you can use their own Optimism Gateway, which you can find under the tools at the top of the screen here. And as you can see, there's a bit of a warning before you go ahead and start to connect up your wallet. It states here that these are early days in the life of the protocol, so please use this at your own risk. Also that the withdrawals from layer 2 to layer 1 will require a wait time of one week. Plus you can also refer to their FAQs for more details. Now I'm aware of the risks, so I'm going to go ahead and connect up my wallet. In this example, I'm going to be using my Metamask wallet. But you can also connect up the likes of a Coinbase wallet, or you can use Wallet Connect for the likes of the Trust wallet. And you'll need to make sure that you've also got the Optimism network set up in your Metamask wallet. If you don't already have this set up and you need some help, I've put all this information into a blog post for you, which is linked below and also available on my website, everybithelps.co.uk. But at this point, we're going to need to make sure that we're connected to the Ethereum mainnet so that we can transfer these across to Optimism. Plus, you'll also need to ensure that you've got enough ETH here to pay for their gas fees. Once connected, you'll want to make sure that you're on the deposit tab at the top of the screen. From here, you can then select your Ethereum-based token, and you'll want to make sure that the mainnet is selected. In this example, I'm going to be bridging one ETH on the Ethereum mainnet across to Optimistic Ethereum. So if I go ahead and deposit, you'll then be prompted to approve the transaction. And as it states here, deposits can take 20 minutes before they're considered final on Optimistic Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit where I then need to confirm that in my connected Metamask wallet. Now it does state here that the fee will be $71, which is quite high, but you can edit your fees with Metamask and use this in conjunction with ETH gas station. Where I can then choose a lower gas fee and edit this to 80 in my wallet, which is around $56. However, just be aware that the gas price does fluctuate and sometimes these transactions can fail and cost you money if you do choose the wrong gas fee. So just make sure that you do your own research before you go ahead and start changing these. If I then confirm, you'll see that it's now initiated the deposit. And you can check this transaction over on Etherscan, where you can then see that this is now confirmed and the final price was $55, and that's confirmed in just over three minutes. So now that my tokens have finalized bridging on optimistic Ethereum, let's head across to Uniswap. Now what I want to do first is just show you what the cost would be if I swapped using the Ethereum mainnet instead of Optimism. So over on Uniswap, I've got my Metamask wallet connected and that's connected to the Ethereum mainnet. And let's say that I want to swap 0.5 Ethereum for USDT. And if I go ahead and swap now, 
you'll see that the fees for this swap are at $73, which are pretty high. Now, if I head back to the Uniswap swap screen, and this time if I connect my MetaMask wallet to Optimism, you can see here that I've got that one ETH appearing that I bridged earlier. And you'll see that I've got Optimism selected in the top right hand side of the screen, and it also shows my one ETH balance here. If I go to perform the same swap again by choosing 0.5 ETH for USDT, and if I confirm my swap, it will then show me my fees in my MetaMask wallet. But now that I'm using Optimism, annoyingly, it shows me that in ETH. But if I convert that now into USD, you'll see here that for the same transaction, I'm only paying $4.71 as opposed to the $73 that I was going to be charged on the Ethereum mainnet, which is massive. This means that although the initial gas fee was high to bridge my tokens, I've already saved that amount for this swap alone. And I still obviously have more bridged ETH on Optimism that I can then use and save for further fees. As I mentioned earlier, Uniswap are not the only platform to integrate Optimism. And another way that you can save on some fees is using the Synthetics platform. I personally stake my tokens where I earn rewards. But with the current Ethereum gas fees being so high, I've not been able to claim these as they wouldn't have been profitable for me. However, if I use Optimism instead, as you can see here, I'll now be able to claim my rewards and still take profit. But that concludes my tutorial now of how you can reduce your fees using Ethereum dApps with Optimism. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks. And I'll see you soon.